Okay, YouTubers, I'm back here with the UTI-1 device again. Now, that one other device I told you guys that I was going to unpack in the video, well, plans didn't go as well, let's just say that. But, this is the UPAM device, really the Bogan TAM-B. I get confused with the two, but this does not work. I've tried everything with this device. Even had a power. I have. A, I had an appropriate power supply for it. It wouldn't page. So it's a bummer. I just got this yesterday, and I tried testing it and everything, and no luck. No page. All I get is a click every time I plug it in. So that's. I'll scratch that off the list. But I've decided I'm gonna use this on this system. So yesterday, I got a comment on how how do you hook a telephone up to an amplifier that only has a microphone port. Well, there's different ways. If you want to just like make it as easy as possible on you, I would recommend the the UTI one. And if you you don't have to have phone service. You could even just go as far as using the override port, just hook a standard old landline phone up to it, like as shown here. Then you can just talk all on it as you want. You don't have to have a self-amplified speaker for this. In fact, all you have to use, you can use either the page or the page in music or the page only. All you have to use are the T and the R terminals. And just cut a 3.5 jack or XLR jack. Just splice the wire straight into T and R. Set your volume. Sometimes a limiter might be. You might have to play with the limiter a little bit. It's really the the page output volume to the equipment. As in some of these, in fact, you can actually see that little LED flash. That's just the limiter. It limits how much power goes out to the equipment. You don't have to use the music. Now, if you have the problem with the ground loops off of this, which I don't have any problems with this setup, but I know maybe in some in some situations those annoying ground loops will pass through. That's where you want to stick a ground loop isolator between. Between this line, because this is the audio line, between this and your equipment, which in this case it's a speaker, and it limit it, it cuts out the ground loop. I don't know if that makes sense for those of you that want want to see, like comment me saying how I hook up a phone to straight to a paging amplifier. It doesn't matter new or old; it will work. You just have to get a little creative with it. Okay, so for a while now, I've been saying, I was, I've been getting comments saying, hook a fire alarm up, to, hook your fire alarm system up to your intercom system. I'm not going to necessarily full on do that, but I have another thing, I have another idea that in mind. Now, on this UTI-1, there is a whoop tone that, that you could, you know, use on this. I programmed the TN and the C to do the whoop tone. So now when I jam this wire in here. If you, you just have to keep it in there all the way. It just plays over and over again when the circuit is closed. I'm gonna be doing that with this intercom system, not only just in here, but across the whole system. Now, the only unfortunate thing is we're not gonna get direct page from PB from the PBX anymore. But what I'm gonna do instead is feature six two, since there is a relay that activates in this PBX when it's in page mode for external speakers. Feature 6.2 is going to activate the siren on the system, the whoop tone across the whole system. No matter, doesn't matter what phone it is, it will activate. 
But Paige now will be extension 25 or whatever extension I decide to choose later. Because I don't know, I have plans on rearranging, rearranging this room pretty soon and cleaning up cables because I have quite a bit of abandoned cables which can be a pain in the butt to do. <laughs> I've been making a bunch of changes in here lately. It only hung, this this hung up because it didn't detect any noise. Didn't detect any audio level sudden changes from me speaking on the phone. That has a feature built in. So it's gonna go on this amp and it's gonna go on the other two. So it even will affect the outdoor zone. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little clip, and the next time you see me with doing a, a full-blown intercom system update video, all of these speakers will be finally going on this device, every single one. So, stay tuned for more.